Hello everyone. How are you? So many students have asked me that I want to start with my JNEI journey. I want to start with my LLM journey, but they don't even know where to start. And this is a very common question. So what I have done is, in the next few minutes, I am going to tell you how to start with your LLM journey. There are going to be three steps. and you will have to look at my screen recording as well so let's start step number 1 you will need to know about something called as google colab c o l a b you can google it as well and what will happen is so if let's just google it together google colab okay what will happen is that it will lead you to and you can click on new notebook and it will lead you to the welcome page of google colab now this is an absolutely amazing tool you can do everything that you want in an expensive computer you don't really need to buy an expensive computer you have google colab and if you look at it it will give you a lot of ram a lot of storage i think it gives you 32 gigs of cpu ram and 15 gigs of gpu ram this is not something that is easily available but this is available for you for free all you need to have is internet access and a gmail account if you have those two things and obviously a laptop if you have those three things you have a google colab account now the laptop can be fairly simple because all of the weight lifting all of the heavy weight lifting is done by google colab itself so let's just look at what you can do so first you can create a notebook kind of a content so all of the markdown that you can create in jupyter notebook it is doable in google colab as well from including your heading 2 heading 1 heading 3 your bold text your italics text your code links and even images okay you can also have ordered or unordered list again simple markdown yeah but there's not google colab does not stop there it also gives you a free generation capabilities it gives you a free google uh, github copilot kind of a tool so let's just click on uh, generate and let's understand what we can generate with it so let's ex for example create a simple pie chart using some sample data and it will generate the content for you it will take some time maybe a few seconds but it will generate that content for you so let's just wait and see what it spits out yeah and all you need to do is accept and run and let's just look at it yeah it seems to be working perfectly fine it's in fact absolutely amazing you can have us or basically a repository of whatever you want of the chats and yeah we were able to generate a simple pie chart i have also tried to create other uh, you know simple prompt based code for including reversal of lists so it it generates really complex code as well and it including a diamond pattern as well again i did not do anything i just wrote in english i need to create a for loop with that that print that prints out a diamond pattern that's that's absolutely amazing again remember all of this is for free okay uh, you can generate random prime numbers as a prompt and yeah okay so google colab not only gives you a python uh, environment with capability to generate code but it also gives you a virtual machine we all understand that in the real world linux or shell is something is a skill that we all have to learn and google colab provides you that it is not just a notebook it is a virtual machine as well now uh, by default it gives you uh, an ubuntu release an ubuntu flavor of linux and again there are many many flavors of linux but ubuntu is the most popular one and that is what you get 
to create a shell based command all you need to do is add exclamation point before any command that you want right and then it will be a shell command okay and as i said google google collab also gives you a free gpu as well as you can see over here 15000 megabytes or 15 gigs of gpu ram this is available in really really expensive laptops i have an expensive laptop and i have 16 gigs of gpu ram only i should not have purchased this laptop instead relied on google collab okay okay not only that we i have seen students suffering from you know merge dependency hell so dependency hell basically so if they install numpy version let's say 1.8 uh, pandas 2.0 will not work if they in, in, uh, install matplotlib cborn will not work if they install opencv sklearn will not work so instead of you know playing around with in your local wasting time on uh, identifying the best versions for your particular local environment google collab provides you a stable latest environment you don't have to install any of these including really large libraries for gen ai and deep learning as well obviously there's machine learning there's visualization there's uh, deep learning and uh, things like torch vision lang chain all of these you don't really need to install these are available out of the box in google collab you can even access external data this may be in your google drive in your kaggle account in your hugging face account and you can access that in in you know the the, the regular way of python coding so that's not an issue as well so that was step number 1 set up something called as google collab step number 2 you need to set your free llm api key using something called as google ai studio right so all you need to do is click on ai studio.google.com or you know you can google ai studio.google.com and then uh, let me just go to a yeah you can click go to ai studio.google.com and then you have to do Uh, go to the get api key at the bottom left once you click on that all you need to do is create an api key and it will ask you for a project by default uh, it is going to be the gemini api project and you can just create an api key so this api key should not be public so what i'll do is i'll be deleting this particular public key but yeah all you need to do is copy this api key go to google collab again there's a there's a key icon on the left click on this and you can set it in your uh, in your collab secrets so this is going to be your google api key or gemini api key setting up setting it up in google collab okay so this is pretty much it and let me just go and delete this so whm as you can see it's completely free then all you need to do as as uh, another step is install google dash genii library and that's it now you can use any llm and that's it now you can use google's gemini uh, really really pop and that's it you can use google gemini which is a really really powerful llm comparable to gpt5 gpt4 o all of those are comparable to G gemini 2.5 flash gemini 2.5 pro right and let's just look at how to use it well first you'll be importing some a few things obviously you'll have to import from google gem uh, from google import genii then you will import from google collab import user data this is where you Uh, basically set up your uh, google's api key so my variable for google api key is google api key let's just check yeah i can just copy paste it right and all you need to do is import these okay then genii dot client api key 
equals user data that we imported right dot get google google api key. that's that's all you need to do then you can start running your experiment so for example uh, now this can these can be prompt engineering experiments these can be rag based experiments these can be agent ki experiments but yeah all you needed to do was this okay so let's look at a prompt engineering experiment so how can geeks for geeks help a data science aspirant what are some courses courses for data science they offer so this is the prompt genii client that we defined above here uh, it has it provides a dot model sub package and within that sub package there is a function called dot generate content once you generate once you uh, set it up all you need to do is pass the the model that you want we are going to use google 2.5 uh, gemini flash and the prompt as contents and that's it let's just ask it to run it yeah so it's it's given a very detailed output in fact but yeah you can use any prompt but then the question becomes how do you learn prompt engineering well i have written an article called unified prompt framework or a unified framework for an effective prompt and you all you need to do is scroll to the bottom of this particular article okay copy paste this entire green gray area and let's go to chatgpt.com and i'm going to stay logged out and all you need to do is change your requirements so you just have to describe what are the requirements that you have so for example i want to learn data science provide a road map so it will give you an optimized prompt using this prompt you can generate another optimized prompt which defines the role the context the task the constraints the examples the output format everything is provided okay yeah i don't want to sign up so all you need to do now is literally open up a new chat copy paste the output of the optimization prompt optimization exercise and yeah that's it you just remove like the extra fluff and maybe just say teach me uh, about genii so it will generate an entire road map for you and you can do this programmatically with this strategy as well so for example let's just do instead of this particular prompt let's just copy paste this prompt and let's just run this let's see what will happen it will take some time even i think chat gpt is still giving out some output right so this will also take some time yeah so there is an output so data science road map beginner to job ready it gives you a lot of resources a lot of links a lot of uh, uh, topics it divides everything into phases it's really really amazing yeah that's that's absolutely amazing so this is how you can use an a free llm you don't have to pay money to set up your llm you don't have to pay money to set up your google collab you don't have to pay money to learn how to do prompt engineering right so thank you for today if you have any questions please let me know also i'll be starting a generative ai training program which has an absolute detail around genii in you know get you career ready for genii projects 
so yeah please do sign uh, sign up to that and if you have question, any questions please let me know